Hi there, Suzanne Mathis McQueen, and I'm here with Dr. Kayla. Uh, we're here to talk about a few things. Uh, the first thing that we are here to celebrate is the full moon. So, um, hi, Dr. Kayla, how are you? I'm doing so well. Yeah, yeah it's funny we we did our our broadcast on Wednesday, was it? And we scheduled for Sunday. I didn't even realize in my mind, I didn't put two and two together that we were actually going to be talking on the full moon. So what a great day. We thought to talk about um, how this applies to everybody's life. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exactly what happens with our cycles, even. Yeah. You know, I mean, the so, days just fly so um, rapidly. And I just wanted to point out that you were out uh, yeah, um, yeah. rurally, and so you're sort of cutting in and out a little bit. Um, you're at your mom's house, which is, uh, gosh, on this in this beautiful location, but it's out rurally. So um, we may have you cutting in and out a little bit, but I will give some big pauses so that uh, yeah. we can see if we can hear you. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So full moon. Yeah, um, that's true. I literally live down by <laughs> Say that again. I'm sorry. Oh, I I just said I literally live down by the river, which is why we might have this poor connection. But um, full moon, I think it's kind of special that we're talking on the last full moon of the year. Um, the next full moon will find us, I think, on January 1st in 2018. And in Ayurveda, which is the other medicine that I study, as we have a waning moon, so from the full moon going back down, moon, this is really a time of release, a time of letting go, a time to cleanse, necessarily the cleanse time of year, but it's the month when we kind of have a shift in energy from the moon getting bigger, pausing, and then coming back down. Um, and so... Yeah, I, I'd love to hear from you, Suzanne, from years of tracking how this kind of correlates to the journey of being a woman and the day-to-day -day life, what's happening around the time of the full moon, both in a personal cycle and in, you know, the greater for women who are no longer cycling, what this time means. Right. Well, from the way that I've, um, the way that I saw it throughout uh, when this whole four seasons and four weeks thing came to me, and then after that, then doing research around it to sort of, you know, um, uh, see if, if I was getting an accurate hit on this or not. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not, it's, there's nothing new about the full moon just being, you know, full expression, fullest magnificent. Uh, magnificence, full, um, fullest brilliance. And the way that I see it is that it completely correlates with ovulation. Ovulation being that when that egg bursts out of the follicle, it's like, here I am. I mean, you know, it's, it's both, uh, it's got both sides to it. It's, it's this fullest expression, fullest exposure, but because of that, there's full vulnerability. So, um, it, it's an energy of, 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 um, full experience, but also full newness. And um, it, it's really got these polarities, but actually a really good balance, very much an earthy balance, very much a spiritual balance. Um, and I just, I just find it to be, you know, and scientifically, you know, women, I mean, you know, th this is, this is something that, that science knows is that women um, when they're ovulating are at their most, um, not only their most beautiful, scientifically beautiful, uh, physically beautiful, but um, um, their their energy. You know, we're, we're trying to attract a mate at this point, and not only you know we, the week that we've led up to this has been the attracting. It's like the waxing gibbous moon attracting, sort of, you know, luring us in. We're getting closer to the full moon. And then all of a sudden the full moon happens. The full moon is like the party is finally here, the thing that you've been planning for all this time. So there, there's just all this excitement around it. What I have also noticed, I've got some girlfriends who feel that they always always um, bled around the full moon rather than the new moon. So they would be, you know, opposite of that, where they, they, the full moon really sort of is um, a little overwhelming and that's their inward time. So, you know, I think it could be both. And then, um, and then the days following ovulation, you know, you sort of feel this lull because it's like after going to this big party and, you know, and then, and then, uh, and then, but then it 
it balances back out and there is sort of this waiting period and then the decline. So um, I, I think we're on the same page with, with that. I tell, okay. yeah, absolutely. And I, I tell people too that it had a lot more significance back in the time before electricity, too. Also, like when you had the time, if you were able to see outside at night, there's for the animals, too, there's a much different like rhythm to that. Um, then now that when we, we, I would say in Ayurveda, we say we have some disconnect the way that we are living. And I would say that part of that could be because of electricity, we've kind of lost like the dark light side. We've shift work and work overnight with the hospital. Um, you know, that's that can be so disruptive and difficult. Uh, I think um, just the fact that we've sort of lost that connection. I don't know if you've. Well, I would say no doubt that, about it. No doubt I think about it. Can, it. And, but I think on the per that's sort of a cosmic level, but on the personal level, oh. yeah. I'm sorry you mm -hmm. cut out right there, but but all I would say to that is that I, I don't think there's any doubt about it that yeah. that the 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 uh, bringing in of electricity and and more lights into our life at the time when when naturally it's dark out and we should be going to bed really early, sleeping these really long hours, um, living more by the natural light. You know, the, the, this artificial lighting has screwed up our personal signals. Yet I will say this is that there is something so strong within our body rhythms that still like to cycle with the same rhythm that the moon has the same the same orbit that the that the moon has it doesn't mean that we're aligning when we are bleeding um, when we're what i call blood givers when we are cycling women it doesn't mean that we are aligning exactly with what is happening with the moon but we have our own moon orbit going on we have our own new moon waxing gibbous full moon waning crescent um, cycle going on and there's something within our female bodies that still wants to align with that same that same pattern even if it's not actually aligning um, with the moon phases now if you're someone who is really conscious about what the moon is doing and maybe being outside a whole lot more and exposing yourself to that light then um, it is possible to get back you know to to sync up with that and many women do it um, I think that, and then if you are doing that, then you're looking at more like a 29 and a half day cycle, uh, because that's what actually happens as far as how we see the moon, how we experience the light of the moon. Uh, but I, I think for sure, I, I think that um, they can recreate, I mean, uh, researchers have been recreating women's, regulating women's um, uh, cycles by, in the lab, by creating a light situation that is like the moons um, and so that the women are only getting that they're not getting artificial lighting and that kind of thing. But, um, but, the, but for sure it's a body rhythm that, um, you know, we are, we are so connected to nature. We are so connected to the universal rhythms um, that it, that this is why I try to get everyone to start tapping into that more uh, for sure. But I, I think it's a very exciting concept to be um, part of all of that, you know, so I get really excited with the full moon because it's so breathtaking. It's so beautiful. We've had rain and fog and cloudy nights, so we've missed it some. But, you know, we've seen a little bit of it approaching, and that's been really, really beautiful and and energy filling, you know, for everyone, men and women alike. You know, everyone is lunar and solar rhythmic, but um, I see that women are more dominantly lunar rhythmic, and I see that men, I feel that men uh, or the masculine energy identifies more with the solar mm -hmm. or, you know, is dominated more by the solar. That's my feeling about it or my observation about it, my research around it. Yeah. So, so let's just, good. let's just give some thanks yeah. and, uh, yeah, and some and celebration to that full moon. Uh, so. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing that we want to move on to, and I'm sorry, you're yeah, cutting out a little bit. So, uh, but we promised everyone last time that this time we would talk a little bit, we do a little oh, bit of a yeah. part two on CBD oil for menstrual cramps. And um, so I'll let you take it away on that one. Yeah, I definitely would recommend taking this information and bringing it to your own doctor, of course, or your own team that you're working with. Um, CBD, I think because of legalization processes, is kind of this new medicine on the market. 
And the way that I use CBD for, for any condition really is it's been, it's been well studied for kind of more of these chronic conditions like um, migraine headaches or fibromyalgia or menstrual cramps could be seen as a, it, like it's more, it feels somewhat acute because it comes just once a month, but often I find with heavy menstrual cramping, it's sort of a symptom of an overlying um, condition that perhaps too much stress or a nutrient deficiency. Um, or chronic stress is a big one. This kind of falls on metabolic syndrome, the third leading cause of death in the United States, you know? Um, is this high stress, like it comes along with the high blood sugar, um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, leading to cardiac disease. You know, and we, and we know that, especially I think PCOS is a really good example of a condition that's hormone related that directly shows up as menstrual irregularities. And so I would say heavy unbearable menstrual cycles is again something that shows up that's a sign of an under, an under. So the way that I prefer to use CBD, so no psychoactive THC, this is safe to be used um, during work, etc. But I, I find microdosing using just a small amount and using it in the morning and, in, and closer to noontime is really good because co um, contrary to popular belief, CBD does not make you tired. It's actually a little bit activating. So it's a little bit energizing. It can also be used for people with ADHD for this reason in, in some cases. Uh, we have some literature for that. And again, take all this information and please discuss this with your regular doctor, but just to shed some light onto how this is working in the body. Um, and if you need a good source, there's an excellent uh, physician, Dr. Christian Lay. Uh, he works in the Portland area and he has, uh, he's, he's working with an herbalist and um, some other PhDs and chemists, and they've come up with a great organic, locally sourced product. We know the exact dosage that's in every single dose. This is available at Green Earth Medicine. Um, and I can put this in the um, comments following this podcast, but because it's legal, you can order it from anywhere and we can ship it. Oh, that's my dog. We can ship that to you. Um, but yeah, but that's a good, I would and definitely work with your own healthcare provider with this, but um, that's what I would, that would be my intro to CBD, using it for um, menstrual cramps. And that is to say that I would use it for a longer term, possibly for an entire month, maybe an, an entire moon cycle, keeping a journal. Um, this is the common, this is my adaptation from um, one Suzanne, I don't know if this will show up, but that's another great resource Suzanne has on her website, The Four Seasons, Four Weeks. But she has um, a cycle for tracking, for tracking, and I often tell people when they're taking medicines, put that medicine on there and write down whether or not you've taken it and how that makes you feel. Because especially if you're on birth, birth control that's covering your own cycle, you don't know. And so I, I, I tell all my patients to do that. <laughs> Keep their own records because it just, it really... Um, helps. I'm just not an advocate of staying on a medicine that's not working. And I think because all of our bodies are so different, we're not going to know how something works until we try it ourselves and keep track, you know, because not the same way is not going to work the same for every single person. It's just not, you know, we know that in Western medicine, we know that for whatever reason, different medications affect people different ways. And sometimes with dangerous consequences, you know, so. Yeah stuff to keep in well, mind. Well, that is such great stuff. Now, um, the, the only thing here is that you were cutting in and out through some of that. And um, most of it, I was able to cut everything. And so I'm wondering if you will have time to write up a little blog about this, um, just kind of hit the, um, the, you know, hit the main points of mm -hmm. what you were talking about there. I know that you're super busy um, too, but do you think that you'll have a chance to write a little bit of this up? Because it's super interesting, and I, I'd really like yeah. to dive into this more in other uh, mm -hmm. in other uh, Facebook lives that we have. Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. That sounds great. Yeah, your mm -hmm. image is frozen right now, but your voice was coming through. But it was just cutting out a little bit. But um, I think we yeah. were able to catch most of that. Yeah, and we can definitely have. Um, so one of those medicinals will be a product that we are going to be able to give as a door prize for our event. If we want to talk about that for a second, Suzanne, because as we noted, 
We only have two weeks left of early bird pricing, which is an amazing deal. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Right. And so that's perfect. We will end this Facebook live. We like to keep these as short as we can and, uh, you know, pack some information in, but, but make these as short as we can. So, um, yes, coming up on January 5th in Portland, Oregon, we have a workshop for couples. First of all, all of this is based on four seasons in four weeks. And so this, the one for couples is called the path to Nirvana sex drive. And, uh, this is for couples of, you know, couples as long as there's one of the one of the people is um uh more female identified perhaps um you know than the other but um it's for straight couples it's for gay couples it's for it's for anybody right um but we um we'll do that too pardon me and multiple partnerships can come too you know. And multiple partners. Um, yeah. We'll be focusing, though, on, you know, the focus will be on a woman, on the woman. The focus will be on the woman's rhythmic sex drive and then how a partner, how she can really understand her own and how the partner can support her in that and be in alignment with that for uh, better communication, for being in alignment um, sexually and all of that. So that's only a two hour workshop. And mm -hmm. 9 p.m. Friday night, January 5th. Um, with information. Good information. Good. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Oh, two hours, but packed with information. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, you know, we won't have enough time. We won't yeah. have enough time to get into everything that we want to. It, it'll go by really fast and, and we'll wish that we had more time for sure. I love yeah. doing this workshop. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it's only right now the early bird, uh, special is $35 a couple. Otherwise, the regular price is only $44 a couple. I mean, you know, you really just can't beat that. And so, um, and if there are three of you or something like that, then that would, that would count. You're still $35 for your, <laughs> your, you know, whatever you have going on there. Right. I mean, you know, whoever's coming together, uh, in, in this, um, uh, in this pod, right? And it's so, a great um, venue. It's Soma Space for all you dancers out there. It's so cozy. There will be tea, couches. It's just a great venue. Um, yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. Sheep and then skin. on Sunday, mm -hmm. yeah, you said that before. Sheep spin, sheepskin rugs. I can't wait for that. This just sounds so luxurious. I haven't, I haven't been to this space myself, so I'm excited about it. <laughs> And then on Sunday, uh, January 7th, this is, this is, this is for the women all day. Uh, well, it's from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. So mm -hmm. actually this time will go by very quickly too. We'll do a presentation. We'll do interaction, interactive presentation. Uh, catered lunch. Ayurvedic lunch by Karaoke Bowls, mm -hmm, which oh. is why I definitely want to RSVP early so that you make sure that you get your lunch. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody's got lunch. Your lunch Everyone is Everyone will, but it just makes it much easier. Yeah, we have to know ahead of time. And and the thing is, um, and then we'll, we'll have a talking. Yeah. And we're having, and we're, like, start over. Say that again. Oh, yeah. Talking circle. And we're having door prizes, which is another reason to RSVP. Oh, I said we're having door prizes as well, which is another reason. And the goodie bags to RSVP early so that we can get enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, I mean, yeah. you, we want prizes. We want goodies to go home with and all of that. We just think that it'll be a really beautiful day and we'll do a little ritual, that kind of thing. I mean, it's five hours, but five hours goes by like that, especially when you're eating lunch in between. I mean, it, it'll go by so quickly, but it'll be just rich and deep and, and um, I, I just, I really can't wait. It's, it's my very favorite thing to do. So, um, yeah. but you only have de till yeah. December 15th to get the early bird. And the early bird is only $75 for that day. Um, uh, after that, it's 80. Yeah. But, and, you know, and either way, it's still yeah. Oh, sorry, Susan. I just want to yeah, emphasize yeah, that we just we really wanted it to be the first weekend of the year as well because we really want. Um, yeah, we really love that it's the first weekend you set the tone for your year. Abandoning you, Suzanne, has a great going, and we're still going to continue 
probably with more future events, but this five-hour event really helps us to give you all the content you need to get started on applying these concepts to your life. So it's sort yeah. of like the bare minimum, come, welcome to the sisterhood. It's going to be beautiful, cozy, delicious food, take-home goodies. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. And so if you don't live in the Portland area, I mean, consider coming to the oh. Portland area. You can get an Airbnb or something like that, you know, um, flying in and out of Portland's pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And but you would need to do that now. You know, of course, it's it's already December 3rd. So you would need to get on that. But we would love to have you if you're from um, out of the area. Uh, and we really think that it will be worth your while if you want to do both workshops, the couple workshop on Friday night and the women's workshop on um, the Sunday, the 7th, then you can get a good deal for that. And I think we're charging one hundred dollars or one hundred and one or something like that. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't look at my yeah. notes again before, but either way, it's such a good deal. And then you can incorporate um, uh, the weekend with your sweetheart in Portland. So. You know, um, we just really think that we've priced it well, that it's such a deal. And again, on and it's Sunday, especially good, um, go ahead. And it's also a specific blur to wanting to incorporation. It's like a group visits or um, women's like natural hormonal like rhythms, like in like as a as a healing method. This is such a good workshop. The price point is amazing. And you can have our backup and support in how, in how to do that, too. So I know we have several doctors coming in from out of the area to attend this mm -hmm. um, with that in mind. So, yeah. Very good. Okay, so I think we'll leave it at that. We will be talking about this from here on out, of course. But we really want to drive it home that the early bird ends on December 15th. So um, this is also a really good holiday present for someone. And we've got the link below. I've already put it on to the... Um, uh, you know, in the comments, I guess, above and uh, where you can go to the lead, to the landing page and see, you know, uh, look at the registration and information page. And and it's pretty thorough, but you can just jump right into uh, registering if you want to. But we would really love to have you there. And um, I don't I don't I mean, I don't think we're really going to be doing. um I plan on doing more online stuff all year. I don't know if I'll do another live workshop all year or not. Uh, I would like to, but I'm not That's planning true. right now. I'm planning most of yeah. my online stuff. So um, I, I would, I love doing the live events, uh, but just don't, you know, it's a, uh, you know, I would love to just see you come to this one because I just don't know yeah. when the next one is. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Well, so for now, again, um, watch for our um, updates. Watch for our Facebook lives. We'll be talking about this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Comment below if you'd like to have more information from either one of us specifically. And mm -hmm. we're pretty easy to reach um, to be able to answer your questions. So, um, uh, And I did see the, sure the question about the essential oil. I'm still researching that, and I will be back reporting on my findings um, as well. And before. Oh, wonderful. I wanted to also say that uh, Christine Casella, she's saying beautiful full moon rising here right now. Wow, Christine, go where do you live? It. Yeah, go enjoy that. Yeah, where I, I was trying to, um, I was trying to show, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the comment, right? Beautiful full moon rising here right now. If you can uh, comment on there and let us know where you um where you are, Christine. I don't know if she's still on, but um, okay. Well, anyway, um, wonderful. So we'll sign off for now. And um, uh, thank you so much for being here. Yep. All right.